I've done a lot of bourbon hunting here in Northern Kentucky, but I never once showed you guys this revival bottle shop here in Covington. Um, place is pretty neat. They have things from pre-prohibition, anything you possibly want. And they have this tiny little tasting room with three shelves. Stuff goes at the top from the top shelf for five to $10. Then it goes all the way down to 45 or $50. Um, it's not a bar. You can only have four pours of half an ounce each. And mostly it's these, got these vintage bottles that you could never find anywhere else. The cool thing about this place is they can legally buy stuff like vintage uh, whiskeys from individuals and resell them. So I think this guy has over $2 million worth of like v uh, inventory. The prices are pretty high. There's no denying that, but hey, if you're a baller and you want something, this place has it. So check this out. They have their own pick of uh, Augusta Buckner 13, one of my favorites. But however, this one is the Super Hazmat 141 proof. I had a taste of it for 10 bucks and it tasted really good. Actually, just like my first bottle. I go by, you know how that saying goes. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. So this is a new store down the street. Um, basically the owner just was straight up just staring at me. I was the only customer there, so I don't really feel too comfortable filming, but basically they have everything. However, everything's pretty marked up. Um, Knob Creek 15 was 150. Let me share a secret here. So this Hotel Covington actually sells bourbon right in the lobby. Uh, most of the time they have pretty regular stuff, but from time to time they do have cool allocated picks and they're not precious about it. You can buy as many as you want and they go for MSRP. Check it out. This is the first time I see it. Green River Single Barrel. Um, liquor barn pick pretty cool I definitely want to get it someday and just do a review of it so can you guys help me out here I'm starting to really get into rye. I love almost all of them however this is the only rye I don't like I don't know why I know I realize everybody's palate is different but for some reason it kind of tastes like Clorox to me or what is that like funky note that it has I don't know does anybody get the same taste Is this just a new green label? Was it maroon before? Are we getting scammed here? Our distiller is just uh, slapping uh, artwork on bottles and um, charging twice more, calling it a collectible. This looks pretty good. I wanna try the cigar blend. Thank you. 